Hello children, welcome back to the third section of audience analysis. So we saw it's important for, for us to analyze our audience, know them, and then we saw how do we do that and what kind of questions should we ask ourselves and the resources we are uh, going to take help from in order to understand our audience. Now, this is what you've done before your speech. You have to do certain things during and after your speech as well. Okay, so this is known as adapting to your audience during and after your speech. Irrespective of however uh, you have understood your audience, you can be surprised while you are delivering your speech. And you should take into consideration certain things when you are delivering your speech to this audience because this is the major chunk of your um, speech because this, these are the people you are talking to, these are the people you are sharing your experiences with, these are the people you are trying to connect with, these are the people you are trying to uh, inspire. So, when even after doing this research of the age group, of the place they belong to, their likes, dislikes, interests and all that, you can get certain surprises. And I have told you that that's also one of the fears that we have that what if audience disturbs me and does something that can distract my attention. So while you are delivering your speech, even though you should always be engrossed with your uh, speech and your topic, let's say while delivering your speech, you understand through their non-verbal communication. We will take a session on non-verbal communication also. But let's say there are people, most of the audience seems to be disinterested in your speech. Disinterested means they are not listening to you. They are, and how will you understand that while you are talking? When you see that they are looking here and there or maybe they are playing with their maybe mobile phones or fiddling with their whatever is there in their hands or they are not looking at you at all, they are talking among themselves. If this audience size is small, let's say there are 100 people sitting and you find two or three people doing that, ignore them. But if you see that most of your audience is founding to be disinterested or are, are distracted, you should immediately do certain things so that you grab their attention. Do not try to um, make them feel uncomfortable, but try to do certain things to grab their attention. And that is very important because you do not want the entire audience to be disconnected with you. Despite doing so much of research, you will think that I have done everything possible. Still, I feel that my audience is not connecting with me. And uh, how will you understand that other than uh, whatever I have told you? They are not doing anything. Okay, they might not be fiddling, they might not be talking, but you see that they are still. When you see the people are st uh, just still and uh, they are not maintaining, eye when you are maintaining eye contact, they are not doing that, you will understand that something is wrong. They are not understanding whatever you are saying. So what you should do during uh, your speech when you see that the audience seems to be disinterested, uh, distracted or you are unable to connect with them, you should change immediately and this needs practice again, you should bring in some humor, you should bring in some data, you should bring in some statistics and this cannot come naturally to you children, it can only come through practice. So in subsequent sections of course we will see how to develop content, how to bring in thoughts into your mind so that you can become an awesome speaker but you should use those tactics, bring in humor, bring in uh, some data point that can attract them. All right, so I had, a, I had a student who was very good in general knowledge and he had so much of data point regarding India, world, some um, statistical figures he had, some astounding uh, data he had. And when you talk about this data, when you talk about interesting facts, your audience automatically gets attracted to you. Apart from that, during our communication sessions, I'll tell you, you will have to change your pitch, your tone, your pace, your expressions so that you can start connecting with your audience and all these things you'll have to do during your speech. So just imagine just one minute, two minute speech that you are delivering, so many things you have to do at the same time and that again needs practice and you will be there, you will get there, do not worry. And this was during the speech, even after all the attempts you see that you are unable to build that connect with your audience. Post your speech, okay, after you've delivered your speech, Try to do these pep talks. Pep talk means you just approach uh, a sizable amount of audience and try to get feedback from them. Getting feedback from your audience will set you for your next speech. Do not let 
you know the world end there because i could not perform let me just you know get rid of it i don't want to uh, deliver any speech anymore no even if you've done a research you've not been able to connect during the speech try to build that connect after your speech so whatever research points i had uh, mentioned in my previous section do not carry a piece of paper and go to them just do these talkings to them and understand that what is it that they could not connect with so once you start doing this a sizable chunk of your audience let's say out of 100 people you go and meet at least 20 people talk to them try to understand do not go and flatter them ask for flattering speech okay yeah we liked your speech and all that while you know that they did not like your speech so try to find out what is it that they did not like or what is it that you can improve upon because this will help you for your future speeches so this is how you should prepare for your audience analysis try to understand them do a research before your speech do a research during the speech i mean do a research as in trying to understand the cues that they give you and also after your speech even if your speech has has been awesome your audience was connected with you even then you should do a one on one conversation or a short group conversation so that you get a feedback always try to take feedback from your audience so that you can improvise on any shortcomings if you have so we will meet in the next lesson see you again bye bye